episode number 87 of the Friday Fizz. Happy New Year to everybody. This week, we talk about the most British man in Britain, and we talk about the biggest risk to computers ever since computers were invented. Welcome, Happy New Year, everybody, 2018. Um, lots been happening. Yeah. Yeah. Have you, have, did you have a good Christmas and New It's Year? very nice, yeah. So hopefully uh, not put on too much weight, because uh, I've just been eating for the last two weeks. <laughs> um, so I'll slim it down on the camera. Yeah, but Yeah. no, yeah. If, we, if you don't got that option, just to like... Yeah, just yeah. reduce Bring it, it in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, trim it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm on dry January. Are you? I do that, no. I barely drink, so no. I don't need to be the easiest challenge ever. You do it the other way. Yeah, exactly. I start drinking now. I've still yeah. got a bottle of gin in my fridge, so I need oh, yeah. to work my way through it. What gin is so, it? Um, I can't really pronounce it. It's like Afir or something. All right. So it's, it's nice. Heard of it. Like spiced. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. I had some interesting gins over Christmas. I bet you did. Some with orange and limes and all sorts of interesting flavours. Fancy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Gin connoisseur now, aren't you? Oh, big time, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Except no, because I just put in like massive measures, a bit of crap tonic, and then it lasts about five minutes. Yeah, I spent more on the tonic than I done the gin. Like, <laughs> that's the one thing I heard is just get a nice tonic. So yes, no, the tonic now. is the key, Sam. The tonic is the key. We should start a, like a, a, a beverage. That'll be the spin-off um, show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the actual, actual Friday, Friday Fizz. Fizz. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> We've cracked it. We've finally Second, found our true yeah. calling. Number 87, I've got that written down. Number 87, yeah. and we've, uh, we've worked it out. Finally found the reason for this show. Yeah. <laughs> Good, go. yeah. So New Year. So anyway, there's it's been uh, there's been quite a bit um, going on over the last. Um... Yeah, I mean, there's there's been good and bad. Yeah. So straight away we've got Spectre. I know. Meltdown. So, well, you've just jumped into number four there, but we'll go for it now. <laughs> no, you didn't give me any guidance. I know. I can't well, just riff I know. forever. <laughs> So yeah, we've been um, yeah. There's big news, right? We've got um, Spectre and Meltdown, which are the two biggest microchip. Um, what, what's Dan? What's it called? Flaws. Flaw. Vulnerabilities. Vulnerabilities. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah. So the biggest vulnerabilities that we've ever had in microchips ever, mm. affecting probably every single modern electronic device. Yeah. So all your laptops, desktops, your phones, your tablets, everything. So it's pretty it's pretty pretty amazing. It's now good. the the thing is they don't reckon it's been exploited yet. Um, mm. and apparently the experts have known about it for six months. What? Because they've been trying to keep it under under wraps. Right. And the people have signed non disclosures and all this kind of stuff to try, but it's been leaked. I don't know how it's got leaked, but it's been leaked. And um, and so now, obviously, there's this big rush to try the and put on all it. those yeah. fixes. Yeah. yeah, Google reckon 80% of all Android phones are are already repaired, uh, and the the last 20% will be done soon. Right. They reckon all Google online services, so all the stuff that we use, is is all wrapped up and secure, which is great. It's good news. Yeah. Um, but the, the the worries are some of app, some of the Apple devices, mm. like one of the I can't remember which one it was, but one of Apple's devices was going to be like the twenty third of January. Um, yeah. And it's like that's a long time to wait. Yeah, particularly um, when hackers move so quickly. Yeah, absolutely. And they're saying that the the fixes for these things are probably going to slow down devices. Yeah, by about devices. by up to thirty percent. What? Yeah. Like Apple's bad enough. They've had the bad press recently anyway for slowing devices down to save <laughs> yeah. the battery. Yeah. And now they're going to be slowed down because they've got this massive vulnerability. Yeah. So. It, it's pretty it's pretty mad, isn't it? But mm. I mean, it, it's just life. I think mm. um, the, the reality is is that there's so many vulnerabilities. You couldn't patch all the vulnerabilities and you couldn't even know about all the vulnerabilities. No. Yeah. It, it moves so quickly, doesn't it, yeah. I suppose? I suppose yeah. the main thing, though, is just to update devices as quickly yeah. as possible, isn't it? Yeah. Like whenever you get that pop-up yeah. saying, do you want to update now? Update now. As quickly. long as it, as long as it's the norm, the actual genuine update, yeah. not some virus <laughs> popping in saying, download me. Yeah, as long as it looks genuine. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah, those flashing things on your screen that are saying, download this mm. virus protector now, they're, they're, not, mm. they're not the ones. That's definitely not official advice. Yeah, yeah, no. So, yeah, so the um, yeah, no, tip here is just make sure your devices are always up to date with the latest operating system. Bosh, so that little red icon on you, if you've got an iPhone, that little red thing saying updates, make sure you update, don't just sit there. I go around to my granddad's and he's got like 100 notifications. <laughs> Do you want to update these apps? I just, I swipe 
Get rid of them. Yeah. No, definitely update them. Otherwise, <laughs> your phone's open to the internet, basically. Yeah. Just the IT good fire alarm. <laughs> just, just have that. Just yeah. as a warning. Yeah. Good link, Sam. Did anybody watch it the other night? Went, went two days ago, I think it was. I saw oh, it afterwards. I, I was, I was, um, I wasn't watching it. It was on because Joe had been watching something, something about called Girlfriends or something, some new TV series. I don't know. Sounds good. It, it was awful from the five minutes that I saw. But anyway, I, I came down, and she was watching that. So I was making a brew in the kitchen. Then she came through. We just overheard in the background saying, oh, we'll try and be back soon. And then you go over there, and screen's blank. And it's yeah. got this message on it. It's like, what? Yeah. What's going on? World's ending. What Spectre's got to them. <laughs> Probably has. <laughs> but the, it, it was funny the because they were literally just talking about um, this uh, Trump and, and Kim thing about them having these nuclear buttons. <laughs> And then the fire alarm yeah, goes off. Yeah, and then the fire alarm goes off in the background and on Twitter it just went nuts saying, oh my God, it's finally happened and <laughs> press the button. Okay, well, as you can probably tell, we have a fire alarm. You could probably tell that before we went into that report, but we still have a fire alarm here and we're not quite sure what to do about it. So I'm really, really sorry about this, but I'm afraid we have to evacuate the building. These things happen and unfortunately it's happened tonight and we have very little choice. So I really apologise. We'll get back to you with the rest of the programme if we possibly can. Uh, but for now, uh, it's good night. Well done, Tom Thanks, Brady. Thomas. You are a legend. Yeah. A British man of the highest order. Yeah. Absolutely. So our award of the week goes to Tom. <laughs> we should start an award of the week. <laughs> we have so many different features and we never do. I know they, they fizzle out quite quickly, don't they? They, they so. fizzle out. Mm. <laughs> that was good, that. Uh, yeah, so that was interesting. A bit of light-hearted uh, stuff there from ITV. In the end, it was literally just a, a false alarm. Mm. But it was, it was annoying at me because I was on Twitter like come on what's going on what's going on and it took ages and then I found this random person who was like director of something or other who said she'd spoken to Tom who was on the ground and it was just All a sorted. fact yeah it was just a, just a yeah but it was funny because you got people on who obviously didn't realize what had happened and they'd started broadcasting like news from different location I wondered what they did, because like on the radio, if it goes dead for seven seconds, they just have a, the kick, a song yeah, that yeah, kicks in, yeah, don't they? Yeah, yeah. On the well, news, this, it seems it to go dead 10, for... It was 10, 15 minutes yeah. that it was down for, yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Like, surprising. Mm. Anyway, what's this Grandad Grime video? A bit of light-hearted entry into yeah, 2018. Yeah, balance it out a bit. Yeah, what's happening there? Um, well, basically, two Grandads have made a Grime video. Have That's, they? That is the news. Um, Brilliant. The Next one. Sounds awful. Like, one, I'm not a massive fan of Grime. Uh, I don't even really know what grime is, other than the shit that you get around your bath when you haven't cleaned it for a while. Yeah, it's about the same level. <laughs> um, You're gonna get all the trolls, all the grime fans. Yeah, no, it's it's obviously it's, it's getting a lot more popular. These granddads have got involved um, and and made their own grime video. Now, apparently, it's a London, it's a corner shop in London that have also got a spin-off business making music videos, and they uploaded it about a week ago. Um, and now it's started to go viral. <laughs> it's an interesting mix of, of business, that, isn't it? I wonder how you go from, we're a corner shop, to thinking, right, we're, we need to evolve. We're not making enough money, so we need to, like, It's the evolve urban scene the in business. London. They've got the grime scene going around the corner. We could make some money here, lads. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's get a camera. Let's sack Class. off this shop. Um, so, yeah, a very weird story. Granddad's making grime. Yeah, but it's good. Shop. It, it, yeah. Like, the, the video's good. Um, so, well done to this genuine. corner, um, grime corner shop. Um, check out the video now. Talking a lingo, BMW, black chat windows, hands in the air, bingo, make you see stars, ring up, go on an each finger, hands there, back flip ninja, don't speak till I say so, all the big marks sting ya. Bang in the back, bring in the back, jokes in the front, sand in the pack, too much, I'm in an iron, quick one toe, I'm a bring back sparring, too much farting around, oaks and cutting around, slap. This brain plugin, what's this? This is freaky. It sounds proper crazy. Like but, Tesla like, is well, yeah. normally know, quite crazy. Yeah. Tesla's like out there. Yeah. You don't expect Nissan. No. The 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 I've got a Nissan actually, I forgot about that. <laughs> but the Nissan, like, you don't expect it from no. them. It's I mean, I suppose it's the Japanese technology scene. Yeah. Um, but what they're doing now, they're they're set to announce it at CES, I think it's later this month. Yeah. Um it's the new piece of technology effectively plugs into your brain to find out what actions you want to take when you're driving. So obviously if you see an, an incident coming up ahead, 
and you want to react, this thing will react for you and your car will react hundreds of milliseconds before you actually could yourself. So it's obviously it's to try and prevent as many accidents as possible. Yeah. So if you're going to brake before the, the signal gets from your brain down to your foot and then your foot actually makes the movement, yeah. Nissan's already started braking because you've thought about it. Yeah, which is crazy. And it's, it's where technology is going to go. You can, well, you can expect it's going to start plugging into your brain and doing stuff for you, but it's I, I agree, but I think they're going down the wrong route. Like The reality is, is by the time they've actually got that accredited to use, self-driving vehicles will be approved. So they've like kind of made this whole technology that's going to be completely useless because we've got self-driving uh, cars. Mm. I don't, I don't see the. I think they've missed. I think you're way off. You're completely off. Scrap it. Scrap the whole scheme. Don't even present it at this CES show. It's not even worth it. What are you playing at? Just do a self-driving car or a flying car. That'd be good. I was watching a video the other day for the, you know, the planets thing where it starts off with the moon and then it gets a bit bigger than the earth and then it eventually goes to like Saturn. You're like, wow, look how big that is. And then eventually your head's just like, going, <laughs> because like we're just this tiny little thing in the universe. It's plenty of space to live, isn't there? Yeah. But then I did think about this, right? In those big planets, if you just stepped on it, you'd just go <laughs> like that. Because you just, you would, the gravitational pull would just destroy you. We need to sort it's that an out. interesting yeah. fact. Yeah, there's a lot of thinking to be done here, and it's, it's probably too late in the week to start making these plans. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and tell us about your New Year's resolutions in the comments below. There's going to be human farms, right, that are just there, right, for the body. Chop the tops of their skull off and swap the brains around. That's it. I mean, we're going to farm humans.